Now, the opposition NDC has described as unfortunate the decision of the Supreme Court judge Clemens Honyanuga not to recuse himself from the criminal trial of former Cocoa Board CEO Dr. Stephen Opuni. Now, this is despite allegations of bias. Justice Honyanuga is hearing the matter as an additional High Court judge, Dr. Opuni, uh, as an additional High Court judge. Now, Dr. Opuni is accused of causing financial loss to the state and has been standing trial since 2017. Court correspondent Joseph Akable was in court uh, as Justice Honyanuga dismissed this request that he recuses himself. He's been uh, telling uh, us about what transpired in court and some background information regarding the initial request to get the judge of the case. This is the second time Dr. Opuni has filed such an application asking the judge to recuse himself from the trial. The first one was filed in March 2020 on the ground that the trial judge had openly campaigned for President Akufado for saying at a national program where the judge is a paramount chief that the current president has done well with the free senior high school program. The court dismissed that application. Lawyers for Dr. Opuni renewed their attempt to get Justice Wanyanuga off the case after the judge held that the prosecution has been able to establish that Dr. Opuni has a case to respond to. The lawyers alleged bias on the part of the trial judge stating Dr. Opuni may not be given adequate time to defend himself before the court and will not get a fair trial. He argued that after dismissing the submission of no case on May 7, 2021, the judge adjourned the matter to May 17 for him to open his defense instead of two weeks requested by his lawyers to adequately prepare him to open his defense. Justice Onyenuga dismissed the application saying it was made in bad faith. The opposition NDC, Sami Jemfi, says the decision is unfortunate. Look at the kind of statements, definite statements. Um, I heard in court the prosecution saying that, oh, the judge is entitled to make statements on whether or not the prosecution has established the ingredients of the offense um, under which, I mean, for which the accused persons have been charged. But if you look at the statements, in my humble opinion, I agree with the prosecution that, I mean, with the accused persons that these statements went beyond the ingredients. Okay, and bordered on determination of facts, determination of facts, which, um, like I've said, gives all of us genuine cause for concern, you know, that the accused persons may not have a fair hearing. The judge has ruled, but that decision is appealable. The case has been adjourned to June 14, where Dr. Opuni is expected to open his defense.